for your hammer or law hammer. Um, a stupid game where Tom and I tell each other two tales from Warhammer lore, one of which is true, Lawhammer, one of which is made up, your hammer. Mm-hmm. Let's find out which is which. Uh, yeah. Um, you can go first. Sorry, I just need to like... Okay, you're looking up. I just need to like... You're just doing some research. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, doing some research. Um... Okay, so I'm going to tell you a tale. Oh, look at this guy! No, he's he's a spaceman. Uh, look at this guy. Ooh. Okay, so there was once a tale of a empire nobleman who lived in Marienburg, and he was like a trading guy. He made loads of money. He had like big fancy house, but secretly, he was like an occultist. And he was obsessed with like forbidden law, <gasps> and he wanted to live forever and be rich forever and have all these ultimate powers gifted to him by powers from beyond our world. Classic. So he, he used his fortune to like get all these ancient artifacts and books, and he started like a, in a coven that were all obsessed with like demonology. And he started like a um, a spell of summoning. Him and his his coven they summoned a demon to grant them all their wishes. Uh, but they didn't really uh, know what they were doing. Uh oh! <laughs> and so they, what they summoned was like this, um, like bog demon of like corruption, and it's like this sort of Nurgle sludge monstrosity. And it didn't give them any of the power they wanted at all. Um, it was just started going. Bleh! And they're like, "This is gross." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so they started. They did like a you know a ritual of like. Banishment, yeah, yeah. Like, get rid of it. As they were doing the, the banishment ritual, witch hunters, like, burst in. They've been, like, tracking him for years. And, like, oh. dun, 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 the gig is up, Von Halstrom. Oh, no. <laughs> and they, like, shoot and stab, and there's a big fight. And the, the, the whole coven is killed. And the demon disappears. Uh, the witch hunters assume, like, you know, they've, they've either killed it or the, the summoning spell, like, the, whatever worked. Um, and they leave and they like, you know, they arrest his whole family and everyone he's ever known and they assume that that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. But actually what's happened? Well, I'll tell that in a minute. Um, It went into the toilets and it's now poop demon? (laughs) Yeah, yes. It's been bound to the toilet. To a poop. To a toilet in the in the house. So the house was sold at auction. <laughs> and to the, and anyone, everyone who's bought this house has yes, mysteriously... I choose this one, Ben. I choose this one. mysteriously disappeared. I choose this one. Because, and no one ever... Know, no one's figured out why everyone who owns this house disappears. But it's because every time they go take a poop, the fucking bog monster devours them. Yep. Because of a haunted, possessed toilet. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. I choose this one because I can't lose on another poop story. <laughs> right. I just, I just have to take the gamble. I, I can lose by guessing it, but I can't have you get a poop story past me. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, so do you want to hear the other one? Doesn't even matter. Well, you're going to hear it anyway. Doesn't even matter what it is. <laughs> I've decided. I can't, I can't let another poop slip past me. Okay, so we've got the possessed toilet. Ooh. But we've also got... This story. No, not... Uh, do you remember this guy? Yeah, the, man. The Calexus assassin? Yeah, love. Love this guy. He kills psychers. That's what he's good at. He's cool. Um, so he's a specialist imperial assassin who's used for destroying high-level psychers. Mm-hmm. He's kitted out with all kinds of anti-psychic equipment, including psych-out grenades. Ooh. Special grenades that are, like, toxic to psychers. Look, he's got one here in his hand. Wow. Um, and when they were de- 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 designing the, the anti psychers grenades, they thought, what's, how do you fight a psycho with a better psycho, right? Who's the best psycho? The Emperor is the best psycho. But the Emperor, he's stuck on a life support machine. Yeah. We can't wheel him out every time we need to beat up a psycho. So maybe we could get, like, some of his essence Ooh. and use that. And what they found was that the everything that comes off of the emperor oh fuck this is <laughs> everything that, that comes off of the emperor is, is psychically charged 
Okay, so they found out that basically everything, all of his excretions, <laughs> no. are psychically charged. No. Uh, <laughs> No, man, you can't do it to me. You can't, have, you can't bust out two poop stories. It's a double poop week! Oh, God. Psych out, Calexus Assassin's psych out grenades are made from the Emperor's poop. Or, haunted toilet monster eats okay. people. Right. I'm going to, I need clar- just, just minor clarification. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, um, if if the psych out grenades, if the like wording is, oh, it's imbued with a bit of his essence. No, that, no, that, it's um, what is it? What it's is like it? his byproducts and excretions. Okay, right there, then that that you can read as as poo poo. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. I read as poo poo. Like if you, uh, it's... no, 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 not just like part of the spirit of the emperor. None yeah. of that shit. No, no, physical residue. Yeah, from yeah, his body. Yeah. If you found out, like one of the custodies or whatever, he was being kicked out for rolling around in the emperor's <laughs> byproduct. You're like, I know what that means. They just have to put it down nicely on paper. Yeah. Um, so uh, poo flinging. That's what they do. They okay. fight like monkeys do, and they throw poop. God, that's very um. Was walking simulator game Death Stranding? That in that you threw pea grenades. Oh, you do? I'd forgotten about that. Um, Wow, purple poo. Who knew? Whereas the first one... The first one sounds like every Warhammer fantasy (laughs) roleplay story I have ever heard, ever. (laughs) Like, like, some people try to summon a demon, it goes wrong. Um, And now there's a haunted toilet. Like, haunted toilet. Also, haunted toilet feels very fucking 80s. And... (laughs) Uh, I would bet that's a fucking first ed. Actually, wait, when's uh, the Trouble in Marienburg book? Is that first or second ed? I think that's first ed. It just that yeah, I think feels that's like... Um, and I'm not saying this because I know that specifically, hmm. but it just feels like a Warhammer fantasy role-playing <laughs> story. But yeah. maybe, because we've busted out a few of those, that you know, you know how to put one together because it's quite formulaic, but quite... Quite funny. Whereas these guys with poop grenades, I feel like I would have heard they had poop grenades somewhere. <laughs> Are you sure it's not like his tears? Does it clarify somewhere else? <laughs> like a single tear is in each grenade or something? No, no. Is, it's, it a, um... is a tear an excretion? Well, I guess. But I feel like if you're going to say excretion and you're not going to specify... You did, you're talking about poop. If it was his tear, it would say tear. Yeah. You know? It could be true, but I like, I, I really like Haunted Toilet. That, I do, I feel like I would have heard this grenade thing. I'm going to say Haunted Toilet mm-hmm. because it, that, like, I can almost teleport myself back. Like, <laughs> back to baby 20, Tom days. 20 something years. <laughs> when we're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay mm. and feel like our ragtag band of losers <laughs> would be busting into a toilet and finding a spooky spooky toilet demon. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm going to say that that is Lawhammer. And this okay. is your hammer. I've got you again, Tom! What? <laughs> Tricked by poop! Tricked by poop? I made up the toilet story. God, it just, it's complete nonsense. It sounded just like a like a classic Marienburg adventure. <laughs> yeah, I even said Marienburg. I was thinking, okay, it needs to. This Tom's going to think this is a Warhammer Fantasy roleplay story. I either have to set it in Kislev, Altdorf, or Marienburg, because those are the three cities that had big source books. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I figured you, you did a Kislev one last like a couple of weeks ago, so you've probably read some Kislev stuff recently. So I'll make it a Marienburg oh, one. Shit, fucking fucking a. Um, but it was inspired by this old model. Uh, which I couldn't find any lore about. The Chaos Toilet. The Chaos Toilet. Um, I was flicking through, like, dumb old models. I remember this boy. Found this guy and thought, how did this happen? Yeah, just you want lore on here. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's the deal with the psych out grenade? Um, it's Empress Poo. He's a poo flinger. Um, has he got the psych out grenade on here? War gear. Um, 
Psych up grenades. Oh no, this one says dust. This is wrong. Lexicanum said excretions. Once again, did you get this from a codex? I want, like, I need to see the exact wording. I need exact wording on this one, Ben. This is a citation needed. I I know. Hang on. Here we go. No, not Calidus. Ugh. Um. Uh, Calexus. Okay. Uh. Da, 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 da. Dust particles. Can only be the byproduct of the emperor's metabolism. That's it. Which is in Rogue Trader. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, if it's a Rogue Trader thing, then I can, I'm more likely to believe it. Maybe it got retconned to dust in a later codex. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think, that, I think that's pretty good. There we go. It's definitely the emperor's poop. Yeah. What else could it be? Yeah, byproduct of the Emperor's metabolism. That's that's poop. That's Man, definitely Lex poop. Lexicanum is always better than... Um, it's because than they the cite their sources. Um, that's why, like, I don't... I do not recognize the 40k <laughs> wiki for your hammer or Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. Because also, it's on there. You, you'd think that it's better written because their psych out grenade thing was like eight paragraphs. Mm. No, it's some fucking nerd who wants to write for Black Library who super embellishes and yeah, just, elaborates just on Just makes this up stuff. loads of stuff that's not in and the books. 90% of the time, they don't have a source for any of it. And, or they'll just put like, oh, uh, Death Watch book at the bottom. Like, where? Yeah. Uh, no, give me a fucking page, page on the book and tell me where it comes from. Very important. Mm-hmm. Always cite your sources. I like to think that it's a custodian's job to empty out the chemical toilet in the Golden Throne mm-hmm. and like pass it on to the Inquisition or whoever. Oh makes yeah, like they fucking loves it. That is like <laughs> he's like <gasps> it's a sacred <gasps> position. <laughs> oh, oh, I get to do the toilet bowl. <laughs> he stood there with the golden pan, waiting for it to drop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Squish. Okay. Are you ready for your Hit me. story? Hit me with my law hammers. Um, okay. The, uh, dwarf. Dwarf. <laughs> Here we go. So you're familiar <laughs> with dwarfs. Yes, uh, I am now. <laughs> uh, war, Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Although that could have been the guy. Um, who's a good dwarf? God, he's got good hair. Sure. So, are you familiar with? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what was the song that I was singing earlier? Magnificent Seven. Perfect. So, you're familiar with the Magnificent Seven. I'm f- actually I'm more familiar with the Seven Samurai, well, the original film that it's based on. Okay, well that that's you know good, but it doesn't help as much because are you familiar with the Magnificent Sven? <laughs> No. Uh, So the Magnificent Sven (laughs) um, is a dwarf Mm -hmm. uh, called Sven Mm -hmm. um, who uh, led an expedition uh, to Lustria um, and uh, it's him and he has six buddies Mm -hmm. Who are seven dwarfs? Um, they're made up of like engineers. So, magnificent and, seven dwarfs led yep. by the magnificent Sven. Um, and they're funded by uh, this like uh, dwarf, um, like drug addict from <laughs> Marienburg. <laughs> okay, Marienburg, the Marienburg city where again. all um, made up law comes from. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, they, they go down to, like, save, save villages mm-hmm. from, uh, like, the, the sort of, this is old Warhammer, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, like, slan attacks. Oh, and, evil slan bandits. Because there's a slan bandit called Gurgle Greenwake. <laughs> Um, who has been like rustling cattle and the magnificent Sven and his band, they have to turn up and help the villagers. Right. Um, like it's like a Norse village. Uh, defend themselves against Gurgle Greenwake Jesus. and his cattle rustlers. <laughs> yeah. um, 
And <laughs> okay. um, is it connected to Kremlo in any way? Because this is sounding very similar. No, because Kremlo is uh, Kremlo fought for the Norse. He didn't fight for the. Slan. No, but he did protect the Norse from a Slan bandit. That's raid. true. The Slan are bad dudes. <laughs> yeah, the Slan okay. are bad dudes. Um, and uh, yeah, so the magnificent Sven. Okay. Who it's super dumb? Um, yeah, he sails around and he has his um, band of dwarfs. Band of seven magnificent dwarfs. Uh, Perfect. Okay. It's yeah. It f- feels like it could be true. I mean, they loved just doing like Macbeth <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. in the day. Sure. Uh, so the other one is the Swarm Lord. So you know who the Swarm Lord is? Yeah, he's right? he's a hive tyrant. What's got four swords? Uh, no, Ben. <laughs> he's not a hive tyrant. The Swarm Lord is like its own thing. Right. I'm my own thing. I mean, he's just a re- an arm swap on a... Shh. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so the, um, the Swarm Lord, mm-hmm. who is definitely his own thing, and he is not a hive tyrant. Mm-hmm. Swarm Lord. Uh, so he has suffered a bit of a miserable fate. Oh, no. In Warhammer lore, uh, based... Uh, is he a unique thing or just like a monster type? Well, we'll get on to that. So he is unique. Oh. He is like he is a named thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the there is there is only one of him, um, but uh, he can be like reborn, mm. um, and because of that, basically anytime he turns up and fights anyone, like if you need someone to seem like a badass, just fucking kill the swarm lord. Right, like it's like the old um, Eldar Avatar syndrome. It's like the Avatar, it's like a bloodthirster. <laughs> yeah. Um, like a Khan effects. It's just a big scary thing for you just to kick the ass out of. And then look like a badass. Um, but the swarm lord, who has been on the receiving end of a bad kicking, mm-hmm. suffered his most humiliating defeat. Right. Against a swarm lord. <laughs> what? So while uh, Hive, Hive Fleet whatever yeah. um was attacking the uh ultramarines system which mm-hmm. ultramar macragulon cragulon um <laughs> yeah. uh the swarm lord comes down mm-hmm. and he gets into a fight with magnius craglar no um and he kind of shanks magnius craglar up a bit mm-hmm. but magnius craglar punches him and Pow! defeats him. With the gauntlets of Ultraman. With the gauntlets of Ultraman. <laughs> I have, have the power. power. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, so he, um, he defeats the Swarm Lord. Of course he does. Uh, the Space Marines, um, whatever, Magnus Kraglar's first lieutenant has to drag him away because he's wounded, but he's beaten mm-hmm. the terror that is the Swarm Lord. They fly off. Sure. Um, and the Tyrion is like, oh, shit. Swarm Lord's dead. Mm-hmm. Let's just 3D print another one. <laughs> right. And just upload his, upload his brain cells. Yeah, yeah. So and we then... upload the brain so it learns from its mistakes. And then they send him down to the planet to kind of like mop up. And th- but this is like a, an X amount of time later. Okay. And when they go down, because uh, when the Tyranids leave stuff behind, mm-hmm. apparently... Uh, termagants can just like evolve into anything yeah they um they leave like hormigant eggs all over the planet under the surface um, and then they like when they're left to their own devices they just like mutate randomly so uh they go down and it turns out the tyrannids there have gone feral mm. and Ooh, without their like wi-fi towers without the they lost prop- all their 5g tyranid science yeah 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 but to people control them. thought that they were going to get the corona so they went and burnt down all the 5g towers <laughs> right and um the t- tyrannids are feral and they're being led by the swarm lord who didn't die what but now there's a second swarm lord oh my god and uh the two swarm lords have to fight each other to the death oh my god and only one can live <laughs> and one of them one of them lives which but one? It, but it doesn't say which one. <gasps> um, and so now the Swarm Lord uh, has the knowledge of how to kill and be killed by itself. Wow. Swarm Lord so powerful, it even defeated a Swarm Lord. <laughs> That's right. But it's also so weak, it was defeated by the Swarm Lord. <laughs> right. uh, so, uh, swarm the Lord. ultimate paradox. Infinitely weak and infinitely strong at the same yeah. time. Can you make a Swarm Lord that is 
strong enough and to not be defeated by a swarm lord. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, wow, yeah. swarm lord. Dumb. Why? Why would that be a thing? Or the magnificent Sven. <laughs> Uh, so oh who my God. do you like? Magnificent Sven sounds very believable. Mm-hmm. But part of me feels like you thought about what song to sing this week. <laughs> <laughs> and then thought, I haven't thought of a law hammer yet. <laughs> and the rest is history. I have to say, if, that, if that was the case, I am a fucking genius. <laughs> right. uh, like, I'm just a really smart guy who's very good at ad libbing. Um, yeah. You know, just saying, like that. Because um, I know you like westerns. I feel like that might just be a thing. Maybe you watched The Magnificent Seven recently and <laughs> thought about it from there. It's too, it's too Tom to be true. Whereas Swarm Lord, Magnus Krankler, I'm sure he's beaten a Swarm Lord. I'm sure there's a story about that. I'm sure that Feral Tyranid stories sounds like a thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the second one because I think the first one's too Tommy. It's too oh, Tom. Oh, shit. You're wrong! No! <laughs> the, swarm, the Swarm Lord was made up. Oh, no. Um, okay, right. I need to tell you something now. I could not even... I didn't put in all of the information about the Magnificent Sven. Because <laughs> right. it is so bonkers. <laughs> right. um, he has a ship called the Volkswagen that he sails around on. <laughs> the Magnificent Sven. Is um, this him? Oh, no, no. Here we go. Boom! The Magnificent Sven! <laughs> oh, look at him bup, fucking bup, up Kremlo! No, Kremlo's a good guy. <laughs> no, but he looks like a Kremlo. He looks like a Kremlo. <laughs> He's one of the Kremlos. Uh, so it's an old... So it's from... I was worried that you'd have heard seen it. Cause I think it's from the exact same set as The Adventures of Macdeath and right. um, Kremlo the Magnificent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know. Uh, uh. The Magnificent Sven. Um, he was expelled from the Engineers Guild... And yeah. um, uh, he had performed on him the humiliating trouser ritual. What is that? Uh, there is no explanation, but it's referenced like three times in Warhammer. Anyone who gets kicked out of the Engineers Guild gets the trouser ritual done to them. <laughs> what, they just get pantsed? I don't know, but you do not know. Um, <laughs> yeah, n- absolutely no idea. Oh. Uh, it happened to... Uh, this guy, Malachi Mackinson, and like oh, someone else, another dwarf man. engineer. <laughs> right. They get, get, they get pantsed. Fucking <laughs> super wedgy. They have to waddle off with their pants down their ankles or something. I don't um, know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah. The, I like their paddle boat. Their paddle boat? Yeah, this thing. Oh, uh, the, boop, boop, um, boop, boop. the Volks. The Volks Volkswagen. Wagon. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. I love it. The Magnificent Sven. <laughs> What's so magnificent about him? He's just a cool guy. He saved the day. Oh, also, he made a, a jetpack. He invented... He made a um, jetpack? He made a jetpack. Um, he invented the radio phone. Um, what? Oh, here he is. Hello, Sven. Hello. Uh, yeah, God, he has a surprisingly rich amount of lore. Wow. And it is just all bonkers. And when I was reading through it, I was really excited because I was like, oh, this is great. And then, oh, no, there's, there's too, too much. much. There's it's too, too mu- stupid. Yeah. Oh, my boy. There's my boy. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Love him. Perfect. Um, oh, uh, Gr- uh, Gurgle Greenwake is the villain that he fights against. The leader of Gurgle Greenwake's slam, um, like <laughs> bandits, the are cattle rustlers. Oh my god! It was all real. <laughs> it was all real. Um, uh, do you think we'll get Magnificent Sven and Kremlo to team up in the sequel? 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. When you do the... Um, do the old World Avengers. WHCU, the Warhammer <laughs> Cinematic <laughs> Universe. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I think, you know, you need to start with your strongest IP, which is probably Kremlo. Mm. Um, then you bring in the Magnificent Sven. Then Magnificent you know, Sven. He's like, your, he's like your Thor. Um, and uh, Caleb Dark. He can <laughs> Yeah, he can, he can be there, of course. Um, and although not real, I think Calistra... Kal- the Wonder Horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He could be in my Warhammer Cinematic Universe. He's allowed. Perfect. Um, pow. Okay. There we go. Right. Well, that's 